My name is Sarah Hagel. I am an artist and a person in Huntsville, Alabama, and I I love drawing. My artistic awakening. What do other people say? When I came out of the womb, um, pretty much none. But <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I've always done like crafts. I guess. I don't want to say that I was crafty, because that just sounds bad, but I, I guess I've always been creative. I originally went to school for art, then I just was like, I can't, I don't want to do that. And the graphic design, which is good. That's what I am employed as, as a graphic designer. I don't know, it just gave me a background, like, composition and type that I wouldn't have otherwise had. But when I'm at work, you know, I'm sitting at a computer looking at the screen. It's really great. I think I generate ideas during that, just kind of like doing design work. I'll write it down and then I'll think it's a great idea when I'm writing it down and then I'll come home and I'll look at the ideas I've written down and maybe like one of them will be okay. Sometimes I'll even like start drawing that idea and then it just becomes something else. I usually like draw right when I get home. Draw one thing, post it. Instagram is like a huge platform to kind of share your work. It's kind of bad. I think everything I do, I post. I try not to think about who's looking at it. Like I don't want to, I don't want to know the effect I have on the youth. Don't try to please other people because you try to please other people and then they end up not liking it then you're left with nothing. If you just try to please yourself and they don't like it, at least you're happy. But I mean, sometimes like, things just like don't get a ton of likes, but like, that's just the way it be. I like having it because it shows me how I'm progressing and like trends and my own work. Oh, I did that thing that was kind of interesting. I got braver over time. Sometimes, I'll post something, not really like it, but then I'll always think, did I try something new? And if I did, then I'll, then I'll feel a little better about it. I like seeing the human hand in things. Texture and just being able to see where someone erased and like was really working through something. Or I usually try to like see things through. If I mess up, I mean, yeah, I'll just erase it. Like I don't start over. I've always liked the old school animation when people were like, we're going to make this move by drawing it. That's what brought me to the Fenicistoscope. I think that's how you say it. They are little circle animations. Back in the day, they cut slits in it and you would like look in a mirror and spin it and you would look through the slits to create like a strobe effect. So it would, it would actually look like it's moving. Because if you just looked right at it, it would just be a blur. To modernize that, what I do, and what I've seen other people do, is put it in Photoshop and, you know, turn it. I did a music video for Lady Legs. They are a band in Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> yes, they reached out to me on Instagram. John did. That was like a super ambitious project for me. I mean, before that, what, like the reason he messaged me, he would, he had seen things that I was doing on my Instagram, but those were only like 20 frames looped. It was more than 700, but you know, I have that under my belt now, I guess. I get bored pretty fast, so like I want to kind of, you know, keep going with just creating some stuff every day, but solidify myself a little more in the world, or just the state, or the country. Yeah, just kind of like do something a little more 